Hello friends, Stephen Talbot here, and today is Sunday, December the 10th, 2017. And it is my pleasure to be recording this video for YouTube to upload so that you can see what's going on in my world. Um, as you can see, the sun is beaming down on my beautiful face because it happens to be a beautiful day. Uh, it's a little bit chilly. I'm always, um, one area of pessimism that I have is with the weather. Every time I, I'm always like, I just, the weather, I don't know why, but the weather impacts my mood <clears throat> quite a bit. Uh, I wish it wasn't that way, but with the gloom comes doom. No, but the weather seriously impacts my mood to a really big degree, and uh, it's something I've definitely uh, been working on, so I love when it's sunny outside. I don't like it when it's not. Um, anyway, so I started back, so I realized today that it's so easy to get out of your, out of your zone. I realized today that I had not meditated in like three weeks, and, um, Part of that, I think, is the whole debacle with my cell phone. I don't even think that I've told you guys what's going on with my cell phone. So, I have two cell phones. They are, uh, they're both identical. They're both uh, Nexus 5 x They're both Google phones. And, um, the, the second one was a replacement for the first one because it, was, it had a cracked screen. I'm sorry if it's really windy. I'm sure it is anyway the second one was a replacement for the first one because it had a cracked screen so Google sent me the replacement I literally get it in the mail and the first night I have it I'm talking on the phone to my friend Marcus and I drop the motherfucker in the toilet and so to my surprise I put it in some rice for like two days and it actually powered on Little did I know, though, as the battery, as the battery was discharging, I would never get that battery back. So, meaning, you know, when it when it first happened and when I first turned it on, it had like an uh, eighty nine percent battery, and uh, then it would go to eighty seven, and then eighty five, and then eighty, and then I'd plug it in at eighty percent, and then I would notice that despite being plugged up to the charger. The battery was not actually being charged and so i started carrying carrying around one of those like battery pack things and so i try to uh to and, and the, the battery pack that i have happens to be it's called a hutu best device ever i think everyone should have one i think i've talked about it before it is a battery chart it is like a battery pack but it's also a um a Wi-Fi repeater, Wi-Fi air like a uh, it can be a, it can be used as an airport, it can be used as a repeater, it can be used as a signal booster, it can be used to share media um, from Google Drive. It's really cool. It's like an all-in-one travel thing. It's something that you should travel with. It will allow you to take your hotel Wi-Fi and create your own private Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi hotspot that's secure. Um, if your hotel happens to have Ethernet, it will also allow you to take the Ethernet and turn that into Wi-Fi. Or if you happen to be subscribed to some sort of Wi-Fi hotspot, such as um, Comcast Xfinity Wi-Fi or AT&T or Boingo <clears throat> or something like that, this device will actually allow you to take that signal and then rebroadcast it as another signal. Oh, and rebroadcast it as another signal. Um, that's your own private signal. Even if, even if that Wi-Fi signal that you're connecting to happens to require like a, uh, if it takes you to like a Wi-Fi login page, it will even work with that. So anyway, great device. I will link to it in the description below. It's called a Hutu Mini. The one I have is a Titan. It's the upgraded version. Anyway, it's like a big block. Very different. And I have like a one foot cord. So I had like this block, this red block power block with a one foot cord like trying to record videos and like walking around with it because I couldn't let the battery get too low 
because I'm telling you guys, I left it on the charger for three days and it didn't even increase one percentage. So the connection wasn't good or something over the weekend and it got all the way down to like 2%. And I was like, oh shit. I literally just got a replacement. They were not gonna send me another replacement. I was gonna have to buy a new phone. So here I am with two phones. Obviously the battery is ruined in one of them. So, you know, people say that you can't replace batteries on certain phones or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? There's got to be a damn battery inside this damn phone. So I start looking through YouTube. And you got to have this little device, this little like prying plastic thing, which I happen to have one. I do not know why. Oh, yes, I do. Well, damn, I don't know. Maybe it's something my ex-partner had. I don't know. <clears throat> it's like a little plastic thing you can use to pry pins like in car a lot of things in cars snap together same thing with cell phones so anyway i had that and so i took the back off and then you have to take uh 10 you have to undo 10 itty bitty tiny itty bitty screws then you have to pry off the second piece then you have to disconnect the battery that's hardwired to the motherboard of the cell phone uh i mean this is not some stuff that's not totally out of my element but definitely stuff I don't enjoy doing because I don't like to risk like messing my phone up so anyway I take I'd have to do this to two phones one that has a good battery and one that doesn't so it honestly took me about 20 minutes and so now I'm back in business um, so that's the cell phone debacle which I don't think I've told you guys about so now I'm back in full force Speaking of, um, or, or as I sit here, or stand here walking, as I walk, and think about vlogging, you know, someone, one of these manufacturers, I wonder if there's a phone that's like made for vlogging. Wouldn't it be cool to have a cell phone that had a flip up screen? Um, anyway. Um, or, or, you know, I'm, I'm constantly having trouble out of my like camera app, or like my, my Bluetooth headset disconnects in the middle of a, I mean, recording it's always something like so I hate it it drives me nuts anyway um, so that's the cell phone debacle and uh, so anyway that's probably why I haven't meditated because I was literally switching trying to switch back and forth between two phones and I got a new phone in the mail then I dropped that one in the toilet then I tried to use the other one then the other one started boot lo like uh, boot looping like it would start up and show the Google symbol and then it would restart over and over again but anyway so anyway, it reminded today I was just it just dawned on me. I was like, damn, I have not meditated in like weeks. In fact, I have done re uh, you know, restarted or, or reset my phone to factory settings so many damn times that I didn't even have the app on my phone anymore. So um, so I downloaded it and did that today. Uh, I was on day 10 of 30 or something like that. So that was cool. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, so I did that this morning. Sorry, people were walking by. You know, I'm su not super comfortable, like, talking out loud while people are walking next to me. I don't know why. Who gives a flying fuck? So, anyway, I meditated this morning, um, which was great. And I also, I think I've mentioned this in another video. Every morning when I get in the shower... At the very end of my shower, I like to turn the water on cold, like all the way cold. And I try to withstand it for about 30 seconds or so, or if even that long, just just enough to like wake up my pores, you know. Um, I don't know that there's any scientific evidence that that uh, doing this does any good, but it certainly wakes me up for the day. <laughs> so I've mentioned this before in previous videos when I talk about when I talk about my morning rituals. Or when I talked about the importance of morning rituals. So, it's been so cold outside lately that I can no longer withstand the uh, water on all the way cold. It is just too freaking cold. Uh, so, it's just, I noticed that this morning. But it's a little tad bit warm today. Not really. Uh, what else is up? Oh, I feel like I'm talking about the same things over and over again. I am, aren't I? My plantar fasciitis. Because it's well, it's like literally what's going on in my life. So that's what I'm talking about. Like my foot is much better. It still it still has pain to it, and uh, I hope that it'll fucking get better as I continue to lose weight. Um, I already juiced today, 
Uh, you know, generally I've been making lately about two quarts of juice a day. And I love to juice. Oh, look. I swear. So, so I, you know, you guys know I was at my aunt's house. And I didn't have a car and all that stuff. Got my car back, of course. I've talked about that before. Praise the Lord. But look, since I last walked over here, um, and of course, my foot, I haven't been able to walk that much. But look, see all this? Can you guys see that? All this Turner construction? They literally leveled all of this since I was over here, and they are putting legislative recording, Tennessee Library for Accessible Books and Media, public programs, I don't know, robotic storage and retrieval. Holy crap. Ten they're putting the Tennessee Electronic Library. Oh, wow, here's a picture of what it's going to look like. How cool. I will just have to show you guys right now. Um, you know I love development. It's going to be pretty spectacular. Wow, and this is going right here. How crazy. Let me see if I can show you guys this. See it? Um, so, they have started building this. I don't know when it opens. 2019. Um, this is the crazy part. Check this out. It's got, it says it's robotic storage and retrieval. So inside of this damn archives library, they're going to have like a robot arm that goes and gets stuff. Isn't that crazy? It's pretty freaking cool. Huh. Tennessee State Library and Archives. Interesting. So right next, literally right next to my house, there's going to be a um, state library next to the Bicentennial Mall, next to the new Tennessee State Museum that we're getting. So that's groovy. That's so groovy. Man, you know what I've realized today? I have got to get me some long sleeve shirts. I have none. I mean, I did have some, but I threw them all away. Or I did not throw them away. I donated them all. Uh, I, like, went through and cleared out every, anything that I hadn't worn in, like, six months. I gave it to Goodwill. It was a lot of clothes, too, man. Tons of clothes. Uh, so, anyway, I desperately need to get me some long sleeve shirts because I am freezing outside right now. It sucks because, you know, I don't like to wear, or maybe some long johns would be good. I don't like to wear, um, I don't like to wear coats because I get so hot when I'm jogging uh, that I end up wrapping my coat around my waist anyway, so a uh, long sleeve shirt would be nice though. Some long sleeve long johns, you know. You know? Damn, they're almost done with this fucking uh, state museum too. Wow. I don't know when it opens. I know it says 2018, but it doesn't really say. Um, so what else? Oh my God, I've been going for 13 minutes. 13 minutos. So this weekend, I went to um, my friend Mario's Christmas party at his work yesterday. And then we were going to go to a Christmas party last night. But we ended up getting stuck um, watching, oh God, what's that show? It comes on HBO and it's about, it's like set back in like the, you know, there's like a castle and King, King of Thrones. Mario got me watching fucking King of Thrones and we got stuck watching it last night and, uh, we actually just stayed in my house and I, I cooked this dinner, uh, at my house and, uh, we called it a night pretty early. Um, because Mario had to go to work this early this morning. And, you know, I love, you guys know I love to go out and dance. But uh, it's not something that I want to do all the time. So, I, every, you know, I like to stay in as well. Especially when it's cold outside. So, um, with that said, uh, we're a little bit closer to Christmas. Are you guys excited for Christmas? I am. I love Christmas. Um, so up for the upcoming week, my car is back. Thank God. Um, I've been working on my lawsuit stuff, uh, which I talked about in like four, maybe four or five videos ago. 
um, I'm involved in two lawsuits. I'm actually uh, filing suit against two different companies that sort of did me wrong with my thriving Airbnb business when all of this craziness was going on with the government and they're trying to restrict Airbnb. And, uh, we had a lot of outside investors come in and buy up properties and they just did me wrong. Um, so I'm actually going to, um, I think today, in fact, I think I'm gonna go drive, try out uh, Postmates again and try to drive for Postmates. Um, God, you guys know I do not want to go back to work for the corporate world again. But my old boss at Dell has, has asked me multiple times if I'd be interested in a position to come back to Dell. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking about it more and more. See, when I worked for um, Dell last time, you know, I'd only worked in the corporate environment. And I never... I never had the chance or the opportunity to, you know, start my own business or, or to, you know, make money for myself. Because why make somebody else rich when you can just make yourself rich, right? Well, now that I'm older and more experienced, I realize that there's great leverage to be had by taking advantage of working for a corporate company, you know, for a corporation taking advantage of obviously the pay uh, and all the benefits and the health insurance that comes along with it and this time around I'd be more you know I'd be smarter with my time I would work smarter not harder and uh, I could you know launch my business on the side you know in my part in my spare time or during the, the off times uh, I really want to get involved in real estate uh, I'd like to get you know get some rental properties going and I'd like to get back into the Airbnb business as well but at least until these lawsuits settle uh, you know I was making close to a hundred thousand dollars a year with Dell um, but the, the flip side of that is that the older that I've gotten the less important money has become to me and uh, the more important you know time with friends and family and working on myself and bettering myself uh, that that sort of thing has become more important but I also realized that I can't just live off of uh, borrowed money and donations forever <laughs> you know which is essentially what I've been doing the last several months uh, so with that said I think I'm gonna spruce up my resume God, see, that's the thing. If you don't, if you don't feel good about it, you know, if you don't follow your gut, then who knows? Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I may try to get a job in the tech industry again. I mean, I have a lot of skills that would would really apply to any, uh, really at any corporate job that has a sales department. Um, or not sales department, any, any, any business that has a damn database. What the hell am I talking about? My last position at Dell happened to be in sales. Or not in sales, but really sales operations. Um, so yeah, that is definitely something that is on my mind. Because, you know, in the meantime, I'm just going to like probably just drive for Postmates or Amazon or whatever. Uh until I figure out what I want to do. You know, it's interesting, My this whole thing with my life, the crazy breakup, God, that was some crazy shit. Um, me, you know, getting back out there and working, starting to work out and taking better care of my body and juicing and eating healthy and exercising and going to state parks and, you know, being reacquainted and hanging out with friends again and family again. Uh, I guess the whole... Um, work thing really just is a part of all that you know it's all part of a major life overhaul as I like to call it or transformation a la transformation a la transformation paging a la transformation so anyway with that it's, god I've been going for 20 minutes sorry you know I've been blabbering blabbering I'm going to let my my friend's dog out he's at work and I told him I'd go 
take the little pups for a walk. God, I'm freezing. So anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for your support and for your encouragement and for checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. And for listening to me ramble on about any and everything. Um, I hope you found value in these videos. If there's something that I talk about that you'd like to see more of, I would really appreciate it if you let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, please take a second to subscribe. And if you liked this video in particular, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, until next time, enjoy yourself.